To assess the Achilles and the calf complex, we're going to start on the distal aspect of the calcaneum and we can see the footprint of the Achilles tendon where it attaches into the calcaneum. As we move more proximally, we're going to look carefully between the bone, which is the calcaneal shelf, and the undersurface of the Achilles to look for any fluid, which would be anechoic, which may indicate a retrocalcaneal bursitis. As we move more proximally, we can see the Achilles tendon. Now underneath the Achilles tendon is the Kager's fat pad. You can see in this demonstration that underneath that is the subtalar and the talocrural joint, and actually that is an os trigonum um, at the posterior aspect of the ankle joint. If we move the foot forward and back into plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, you can sometimes gain some information about the posterior aspect of the joint. If we move slightly further up, what we're going to identify now is our angel cake layers. And as we move up the calf complex, those angel cake layers will vary anatomically. But the most distal angel cake layer is the three layers of the FHL, which is the deepest muscle there, which is a very big muscle. And if we move the big toe, you can see the muscle belly moving. Above that, the hyperechoic region is Kager's fat pad. And above that, most superficially, is the Achilles tendon. As we follow more proximally, you can see the Kager's fat pad gets smaller and gets replaced with some muscle fibers. So the next three layers is the middle angel cake, which is made up of FHL, which again, if we wiggle the toe, we can see. We've also got the soleus muscle fibers, and then we've got the Achilles tendon on top. If we move the foot into plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, you can see these layers moving on each other. The next angel cake layer is the most proximal layer, and that will be the proximal uh, angel cake layer. So as we keep moving up, now it's important, can you see in soleus there we've got a small vessel, that's a small vein, it's important uh, not to call that a tear. As we go up we can still see that we've got the angel cake layer at the top of the Achilles and then we've got the soleus and underneath that if we wiggle the big toe again we can see that that is FHL. Now if we go further up we're looking at the Achilles tendon and as we go further proximally, we will see that Achilles tendon form the aponeurosis, so it's a continuous um, structure of tendon and it goes deep now between the medial gastroc, which you can see above the aponeurosis, and underneath is the soleus. Now at this point, this is the most proximal angel cake layer, we can see the medial gastrocnemius there and then underneath that soleus and then underneath the next hypochoric line is FHL. If we move laterally, we have exactly the same layers, but you can see that now I'm on the lateral gastroc. And you can follow that up and down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start back at the um, Achilles, where it inserts into the calcaneum, and we're going to do exactly the same in transverse. Now, first of all, if we come off the calcaneum. Just on top of the calcaneum in the superficial region of the scan, we can see that there is the start of the Achilles tendon. Now at this point, I just want to make you aware of the superficial bursa or the pre-Achilles bursa. And if we just gently compress, we can see a region that compresses and sometimes you can use standoff and that's the potential space for the pre-Achilles bursa. Now, if we move further up, you can see the calcaneal shelf drop away and that leaves us with the round or the oval shaped Achilles tendon and underneath that we're at the first the most distal angel cake layer which is the Achilles tendon, Kager's fat pad which is hyperechoic and then the darker muscle. Uh, just to the medial aspect there you can see the tendon of FHL going through the muscle belly. Now if we keep an eye on the Achilles on the medial aspect you can see the soleus muscle belly both medially and laterally coming out from the undersurface of the Achilles. And that's our next angel cake layer, which leaves us with the Achilles at the top, the soleus in the middle, and just remember there is that central tendon of soleus, which we can see there, and underneath is the very large muscle of FHL. Now, if we follow it up medially, we're now looking for the Achilles to go deep to the medial gastroc, 
which we can start to see there. So that is the medial gastroc with the aponeurosis um, there. And underneath it, we can see the soleus. As we follow up, we can just have a look along there. And if we go laterally, we see the intramuscular septum and then we've got the lateral head there. So now you can see the lateral head, the medial head, and then underneath that, we've got soleus and obviously we've got FHL underneath that. So it's important when you're practicing to identify the three different layers, which we call the angel cake layers, both distally, in the middle and proximally.